I healed myself while blowing myself up. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name's Steph Basic, and welcome back to Let's Play Borderlands 3 Bounty of Blood. Now, last we left off, we done cleared out the hot springs, killed off some folks, found out there's a thing called a destroyer, something like that. Ruiner, that's what it was called. And, uh, well, let's not go down there, huh? And now we're out here looking for a lady named Oletta. Oletta ought to be able to... Yep, Oletta ought to be able to let us get uh, where we need to go and what we need no here. Problem is, now we're in this place called the Ascidian Forest, and it's, uh... Well, it's pretty darn intimidating, I must say. Full of scary things and all sorts of nightmarish creatures. According to the narrator. We likes the narrator. Narrator's got some, uh, wise words for us. Or something like that. I'm not entirely sure what I'm talking about, but it's fine. We oh. Oh, we oh, there we go. Hello? It's hard to believe, but the Devil Riders actually got the railway working again. Wow. What they were doing with it, though? Well, they'll find out soon enough. I guess so, huh? Right. Give me a Jacob's rifle here to take out these guys. Done got some mad skills up in this place. Shut up. Thank you. Next. Hey, 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 h
Why? They're both good. Your still warm corpse. I'm gonna bake myself up a whole mess of beans. You bite your tongue before I blast it out your mouth. Now give me them beans back. They's mine. Are you all? My beans. You all. If you're gonna try it, go on and try it then. Oh, I'm fixing to try it. Just you wait and see. <laughs> hey, can't we all well, just get along? I'm waiting. Huh? Hi. Beans, beans, the musical fruit. Looks like it's some sort of bean-based dispute. Here I was, thinking this fib and fester cock was my best friend. Weird. Then I go and take a gander at the back of my eyelids for a spell. Well, I took she sleep, huh? she steals all the damn beans. What? Probably because she wants to bake them. Why are you stealing beans, Bake? Don't you give a chillin' of wit to this no good cheap shot and chiseler. <sighs> okay. She ain't eating no damn refried beans, so she done stole them and trying to pin the deed on me. Weird. Why would so, you do that? You two are gonna kill each other over beans. Well, uh, before you do that, let me take a look around. Right. Fine. Mighty fine. <laughs> Exceptionally mm. fine. Very fine, Not yes. Infinity. I get it. Damn. Shame to see friends at each other's throats like that. Ain't that but true? I suppose some things are worth fighting for. Beans, Maybe though. Even dying for. Uh oh. Looks like we got something going on here. We got claw marks leading up the ridge here. Boing. Oh, this is a Looks toxic like a sludge. Clue. Wonder oh. what tore into this can of beans. Something that exists in a toxic sludge area. Some bean hungry beasts were clearly on the prowl. The vault hunter followed the trail of lost legumes. <laughs> lost legumes. I'm on fire. Rita I'm intoxicated. Betty were famous, you know, and not just for their constant feuding either. Is that true? Back in town, they were known as the Bean Queens. Folks said you ain't never really tasted beans until you tried them that come from the Queens. Cool. Makes sense. Wee. And ha! nail it. All right, all right. Uh, 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 uh. More of these torn open cans of beans. Man, something went bean crazy in this forest. Mm hmm. Another one down. Could it be the devil's? Think the devil's going crazy over the beans? Seems awful fishy over here. Ah. Uh -huh. Got some more beans over here. Bean tracks. Uh. Hmm. That should be Reba and her down there, yeah. Hmm, what's up here? Aha, more beans. And another one. Hello? One moment, I'll be right back. I think I'm missing something. Boing. Well, found me a treasure box, a can of beans box, and uh, let me guess. Oh, the flood. I thought that was going to be a dastardly Maggie, but nope. Cool. You smell beans? Boing. Beans. The hunter ventured into the beast's lair, hoping to recover some of those precious beans. Someone or something is a very messy eater. Oh, hi! Gaseous bloater, huh? Mess of them. Oh, boy. Survive the ambush. Oh, boy. That is a whole mess of gassy beans. The beans are waited at the end of the slaughter. Maybe them two girls didn't need to trade barbs after all. 
Maybe. Why can I not open this treasure box? That's weird. That's okay. High noon clock. Cool. Hey, one oh can of beans boy. left. Only one can left. This is going to be a problem for those oh ladies. Oh boy. The vault hunter was right about that. Oh boy. Hey, Betty and Reba, I'm back. You better damn well hope they come back with them beans or you're done for, you hear me? And you better damn well hope that I'm chock full of refried by something <coughs> or I'm a riddle you dead. Even if they do come back with them beans, I'm gonna bake them savory little oh, guys. Silence. You hear me? Here. All right, that's enough. I'm gonna decide what happens to this, the last can of beans. You get me? Better you than her, I reckon. Choose wisely. Okay. Fine by me, as long as you make the right call. It I was mean, a tough call for the vault hunter, but an important decision. Probably the most important bean-centric decision they'd ever make. Oh, I'm gonna refry those little suckers till they don't. I'm doing this for your own good. Learn to love what each the other. Good, huh? Damn, do you think you're doing, stranger? Go back to yeah, town. Order some more beans. Perfectly good beans. Now, if that ain't already a crime, it ought to be. Uh oh. What do you say, Betty? Friends again? If that means we get to drop this lick spittle together, I'm in. Y'all ain't gonna win. Now stop it, okay, you two. Okay, we shouldn't have messed with you. We get mm -hmm. it. We yield. You better. Yeah, we yield. Don't end us. I won't. Head on back to town now. Make beans for the people. Betty, I feel like we ain't never been closer than during that old fuss just now. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's better that there ain't no more beans for us to feud on. I was thinking the same damn thing, Reba. Yeah. It's better this way. Don't Thank let beans come between you. Back on track, stranger. Mm -hmm. Our kinship ain't never been more fierce, thanks to you. Happy to help. I'll take that. What's that? Ooh. Now come on, Betty. Let's rest up. Then, after all these years, we're finally gonna do it. You gonna bake refried beans? <gasps> you mean it? That's right. We'll head back to town and finally open up that restaurant we always talked about. Now that's what I'm talking come about. Come in, Reba. I'm so in. Best of huh. friends. I guess beans really are the magical fruit. The more you eat, the more you toot. Anyway, Miss Oletta. I've been led here by uh, the, the hatchet. I like your place. Jeez. Oletta. Wise and wise, but. <laughs> Hi, Miss Oletta. It's me, Mose. The forest told me someone was coming. Weird. So, why are you here? Uh, Juno sent me. Yeah. Juno? Do you know her? I haven't talked to her since she went and moved into that human cage they call a town. Yeah. Can't imagine what business she'd have with me. What's this about? Need some intel on the Ruiner. Rose is trying to hatch it. Of course she is. The fool. Yep. Rose a dummy. I'm coming. I'm this coming. Way. I'm Come coming. On. I'm coming. I'm coming. I made it. <laughs> Are we going back I'll up them tell stairs? You what I know. I need your help with something. Cool. I'm good at help. I do that all the time. I just help two ladies <laughs> fight Somebody over beans. Always loved its dramatic name. Right. Interitus Regina was designed as the apex of bioengineered weapons. Weird. The company scrapped the project when they realized it couldn't be controlled. Oh. Fancy. I like your workshop. There's a piece of raw core over there. Grab it for me. Okay. I used to work for the company, you know. Yeah? The Dominus Project. Neat. That was mine. I don't know what that means. We experimented with various forms of mind control. Ah. The company cut bait and ran before I completed my work. Ah. But I think I'm on the verge of quite a breakthrough. I believe it. I'm gonna take this. You'd think these maps would be more susceptible to the elements, being right. all biodegradable like. Maybe I could stand to reduce my carbon footprint. Then again, if no one left treasure about, 
What would anyone prospect for? Oh, that's what those are. The prospect. I gotcha. I'll take that. Good, go. good. Now bring it here. Okay, there you go. Just give me Wobbles a moment a to work. Okay, I'll just sit down and wait for you. You see, I believe I found a way to temporarily charm uh -huh. hostile creatures. Weird. And even humans. I had a grenade that did that. The Mentus Dominion, or Mentanats, to keep it simple. Mentanats? Are unique species Mentats? of parasitic bugs, which, when exposed to infused core, uh -huh. can seize the minds of their victims. Sounds gross. In theory, anyway. Uh-huh. Now for the final step. Uh-huh. Ooh, this is exciting. Is it? There. What you do, what you do? Infused core. Quite a bit more potent than its raw form. Ooh, Go nifty. On, take it. I did. This way. I'm Come following. I'm coming. You're so slow. Now, add a small piece of the infused core to each of the Menta Nat's breeding containers. Those things. There are only a few left that still need it. Uh -huh. I've already taken care of the others. Okay. If my experiment is successful. You'll be able to temporarily turn enemies into allies. Meaning you just might survive this place. And sure, Rose may have passed through here safely, but she has her own methods. Hmm. Like shooting things. Well, this place looks like it had a pretty big monster in it at one point. Whee! There you go. Boop. Sure, I'll, I'll take your word for that. Hey, go. Kind of beautiful, aren't they? I can agree with that. I can definitely agree with that. I like the shiny. And the last one. Now that that's done, we'll finish my experiment and make those bugs work for us. Cool. Weird. On, I'll give you the honor. Release the Menta Nats, and we'll see if the experiment was a success. Do I just shoot the jars? I didn't think so. Ah, uh, there's levers. Uh, gotcha. I uh, boof. Gosh, they really are lovely, aren't they? Why do I don't feel like this is going to bite me in the tail? Working with a mad scientist? Yeah, nothing bad is going to go with that. And the... The third group. Boop. Did it. Marvelous. But there's one more step. Come here. Coming. Uh, 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 slow down. I'm, I'm not that strong. Before we can call the experiment nice. a success, we must try this on a live specimen. This way. Can I shoot the bed like? I'll be in here taking notes. Uh huh. Ah! Epic dodge. What's this? Do I hit it? Oh. Success! You didn't doubt me, did you? No. <laughs> the joy of discovery still thrills my heart. Oh, shoot the traitor weed. Gotcha. Wait, you hear that? No. Hear what? Wild Bellics. They're coming. Oh no. I don't like seeing one of their kind dominated this way. No or uh, um the bugs. Don't no way. the bugs. I haven't forgotten Bang. the bugs. Turn them against each other. Ah, field research. Gotta love it. And oh. boop, thank you. <sighs> Follow me! Did See? It. The Manta Nats will help keep you safe. Manta Nats. Well, safer at any rate. Right. Now come, I'll show you the way to Rose. Okay. As I said, Rose went to the mines to load up a train full of core. Weird. But enough she may succeed in hatching the Ruiner. That cannot happen. You I agree. You must stop her. Okay, I this will. This is as far as I go. I understand. Thanks. Farewell, gunslinger. Bye. Okay, that wasn't a very long jump, but oh well, whatever. I'm up here now.
I like being up here. Up here is cool. Everyone on this backwater rock knew about Oletta. Mm -hmm. Some said she was the one who told Rose about the ruiner. Makes sense. Then again, some folks are liars. I should know. Are you one? Are you a liar? You better not be a liar. You better be telling me nothing but the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. All that <laughs> fun jazz. <clears throat> I smell a dead body. You know what that means. <clears throat> Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Well, I'm coming for you. Sweet. Well, looky there. You see those uniforms, symmetrified wounds? Looks to me like the Hydragoyans work. Do That's a weird name. And relieve the beast of its hide, would you? Sure thing. Yeah, you gotta ask me twice. Whoa. I healed myself while blowing myself up. Hydragoya, huh? Nice shooting. I'll be long soon. I'm trying to wallpaper my whole house in leather. Nothing's Makes cozier sense. than being totally surrounded by hide. That's right. why nature gave us skin. Ah, uh, okay, sure. We'll go with that. Hurry up and get that core loaded. Before that bounty hunter comes and kick up a fuss. Who me? Little old me. You worried about me? <clears throat> Devil yeah. We're loading the train down with coal. Oh Thought no. No one was crazy enough to try and stop them. There was a valve that controlled the flow of core out from the mine. Vault Hunter figured they'd try to stop it at the source. That valve was thirsty for a turn. Ooh, I can turn me a valve. I'm pretty good at turning valves. It's like my middle name or some some such like that. Get it now. Got it. This whole thing up here and nothing up here, man. It's just waste my time. That's fine. That's fine. Oh boy. I died. Hey, we got some valve thirsty for a turning over here. Turn that valve. Rose must have seen that coming and locked down the controls. So the vault hunter took to some righteous destruction, as was their wont. I'm pretty good at that ratchet destruction stuff. Oh, I'm gonna have to hit this stuff with this stuff, huh? Okay, I can do that. All right, this stuff. Hey, nice. Quit squabbling with that bounty hunter and get the train moving. We got enough core. You are the butcher. Get this train out of here. No, don't do it. Go, go. Get this hunk of company junk moving. No. Vault hunter didn't know where that train was headed, but knew if it got there, it was gonna be trouble. Question was, just stop the train. I'm assuming. Whole mess of bombs. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I'm assuming bombs. Got him. Opening up a finely aged cask of whoop ass. Oh, whoop All right, hey, we got a quest over here. Well, that's pretty. It turns out Titus has a soft spot for wounded animals, and he'd like to be reunited with his long lost snuggle bun. A while back, I found a wounded Bellic mewling on the edge of town, and just didn't have it in me to leave it to suffering. <gasps> Bella was my best friend, till the sheriff said she was too dangerous. So I let her loose in the forest. Hardest day of my life. Now that sheriff's gone, though, I'd love to get her back. <laughs> That old crone Oletta should know where Bella's at. Oletta, come in. You got any intel on Titus's pet, Bella? <laughs> of course I do. He's at Ginfor Grotto. I've got some foraging to do, so I'll take you to Bella's den. Try and keep up. What the heck? Well, you try to keep up. Don't keep me waiting. I have no idea where you are. I like these little holes, though. They come out and look like geode whatnot. <sighs> Not a whole lot going on over here, though. I'm assuming that uh, this is the grotto that I have to go to. The grotto I gotta go to. <laughs> grotto go to. Anyway. Miss Oletta, where you at? Ah, there you are. Hey, Miss Oletta. I'm back. Oh, there you are. Hi. You ready to find Bella? Yep. It was a real sorry sight the day Titus came to release Bella. 
waterworks like you wouldn't believe. I believe that it. boy's got a soft spot in him. Too soft for Gehenna, anyway. I guess so. But I saw how he doted on her, and well, I can't say it wasn't endearing. Aww. As it turned out, Oletta wasn't all hard edges after all. Some of them are soft. People are multifaceted. It's weird how that works, huh? Man, you're so slow. Hurry up. <laughs> well, would you look at that? How'd I miss that? Now, Bella's been a wild thing for a time now. Uh-huh. She used to say she even wants to return, but that's up to her. If she gets a whiff of Titus's scent, maybe it'll jog her memory. Uh-huh. I've got just the thing. A pair of Titus's trousers. Do I want to know? Why you got his pants? Don't ask. Oh, but I really want to. <laughs> there are some mysteries we ain't meant to know. You'll need to draw Bella out of her lair. Get some prime devil meat as a lure. Okay. There are some feisty devils that dwell in the cave system up ahead. I believe Magnificent it. specimens. Butcher <clears throat> them for some grade A devil steaks. Careful, though. Some are radioactive as nuclear waste. And the others are coursing with electricity. Take your pick, yeah. because Bella ain't exactly picky. Bella gotcha. was a runt when Titus set her loose. I didn't think she'd last a day, but now she's made of herself a matriarch. The uh -huh. girl's got some fight in her, no question. We'll see how she reacts to you. No promise. Yeah, I don't need promises. I just need to try my best at this quest. Get us a Bella. Ow. around there. He's the quickest digger on Gehenna and likes to spend time underground. How about you go ahead and put him there for good? I like that idea. I just don't know exactly how I'm supposed to get to him, but I like that idea. Ha. Ha. Hey, lightning meat. Also more lightning meat. And more. And more. Vault Hunter was thinking that electrified meat might be the way to go. How'd you know? You read my mind there, narrator. <laughs> oh, madam. The Vault Hunter knew what to do. It was time to draw Bella out of her lair. Bella they laid out the bait, looking to lure out little Bella. Hey, Miss Bella. Bella weren't so itty bitty no more. Vault Hunter watched, hoping this would work. And what do you know? She took the bait. Nice. Oh, she shot Bella seemed friendly enough, but would she take to Titus's scent after all these years? Vault Hunter placed the pants on the ground. Here you go, Miss Bella. Titus's pants smelled like dreams deferred and a yearning for something lost. Also, days old hotcakes for some reason. That's pretty Looks weird. Like she missed Titus as much as he missed her. Oh. But the local Bellocks didn't take too kindly to their matriarch turning her back on them like that. Well, that makes sense. What? That's it? That's just what I do. The beast seemed like she was following a scent on the breeze. Hell of a nose on those Bellocks. Vault Hunter tailed her to make sure she made it. Whoop. Got it. All right, let's go. Let's go, Bella. Uh. Ow. I got headbutted, Bella. Wait for me. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Hi. look at you, girl. What a specimen. I know, right? Beautiful. But there's someone back in town who misses you. You remember Titus, don't you? You got another pair of his pants? Why you got so many of his pants? Wait, you have another pair of Titus's pants? That's what I was this wondering. This just keeps getting weirder. Hey, I said don't ask, didn't I? I ain't asking. You ready to go, girl? Can that thing really understand you? Let's just say it's part of my charm. 
My child. At any rate, I'm sure Titus will appreciate what you've done. I'll pick up the reward from Titus when I get into town. Here's your cut. Thanks, Let's lady. Go, Bella. You haven't forgotten your way back to town, have you? <laughs> oh, come on. I'll show you. That's so cute. I like that. Reunited and it feels so good. Reunited like I knew I would. <laughs> Please, Bounty Hunter, search out the Sato travelogue in that area for me. I found it. Followed a devil rider into the forest. Saw him go into a hut littered with all sorts of company equipment. Don't know what they were doing in there, but afterwards it seemed like the Bellic steered clear of them. Strange. Ruth Canara said she heard some scientist from the company days lived in that hut. Ms. Oletta? When we rode up, the place was abandoned. She must have seen us coming. I mean, she is Oletta. She know things. Sato Saga. Cool. Alright, Miss Oletta, thank you for your help. I hope you have a great day and uh, all that fun jazz. Found a film reel. I know I lost a reel somewhere near there. Keep an eye out for it. Found it. The company may have ruined this planet, but at least I got a movie out of the deal. This here's so. a tour de force. A triumph. Why, you might even say it's my masterpiece. Once this beauty hits the silver screen and I get one of those shiny little statuettes, everyone in the six galaxies is going to say, Katsuhiro Jones, now that guy could make a movie. I'll just take your word for that. Well, I, I guess technically once I get it all together, I can see what your movie's about. Just don't really know exactly how well it's going to go. But ah, whatever, you know what? I'm going to wish you well. I'm going to pretend like everything's going to work out perfectly fine. Vault Hunter decided to go spelunking through the core mines looking for explosives. Ain't like I got I mean, much of a choice to anyway. scientists in suits. A lot of folk worked these mines back in the day. Work paid well for what it was. Mm -hmm. Still, plenty who went down into Gehenna's heart never came back up into the sun. That's all right. We'll be here to avenge them. Hey, y'all! It's me. I'll take uh, that. Mm -hmm. Refined core bombs. Wouldn't know it from looking at them, but they sure pack a punch. So, you made it through the forest. Yep. Well, good for you. Thanks. But it doesn't matter. You're just oh. a bounty hunter. And still don't understand how it works around here. There's only one thing strong enough to tame Gehenna. And I'm about to hatch it. Who, me? You ain't gonna hatch me. I was born years ago. Jerk. Hey. Stop shooting me. I'm trying to open this box. Wailing horror her. I heard about you. Out of shot. You better not have messed up my ink. Well, I mean you're dead, so I guess it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Come on out here, buddy. Let me fight you. Man, you really did dig down pretty far, didn't you? He's still falling. Did he dig himself out of the world? Idiot. Ooh, that's a fancy drill right there. All right, guys, get up here so I can kill you. Uh, I guess I'll just go down there and join you. It's fine. I'll see you up there. Thanks. There you go. Ah. Okay. And... Oh, boop, there we go. What we got back here? I smell a bomb. Oh, hey. Boop. Oh, 
does that lead me up to? Me, 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 but I'll finish what she started. I mean, I don't really blame him making a thing called a ruiner. That doesn't sound. Then Kina will be mine, and there won't be anyone fool enough to try to take it from me. You'd be surprised, dude. You'd be surprised. There we go. Hello. Hello, friends. Why is there a toilet back here? Okay. You wanted to see me? I did. Boys around here say that when you want bloody work done, the hatchet's who you call. Now listen close. We're gonna make another run on the town, and I want you by my side when we do. All right. What are we going for? Got plenty of munitions, foodstuffs. Don't seem short on supplies. Oh, this isn't a supply raid. That's the old way of doing things. I want you to take the town, and I don't expect there to be any survivors. You understand me? That's bloody work. I'm the butcher, <laughs> and you're the hatchet. Frankly, I don't see how it was going to be any other way. Well, that's just wrong. Ah! Alright, I'll take this last bomb. Thank you. Now that I've got a handful of bombs, it's time to locate the train. And blow it up. Yay! No lose. Vault Hunter had to find a shortcut. Oops. <clears throat> well. <laughs> no time to lose. I have to find a shortcut. Up there, that thingy. Aha! Shortcut. <laughs> Boop. Tunnel had collapsed. Company never bothered to clear it out. Ah, of course, it's immune. I have to hit it with the stupid the explodey things. Ah, there we go. Uh huh. 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 Vault Hunter set to planting those explosives on the tracks. Lucky Did the I? train didn't come along until they were done. Trust <laughs> me on that. That's just how stories work. Right? Isn't it weird how, that, how that's how it happens? <clears throat> What's this place? Aha! Much obliged if you would seek out the Sato Journal near I found it. I found it. Shut up. Captured the Devil Rider today. Made him tell us about the code. It's kill or be killed, mostly. Killing the weak's fine. <laughs> Killing the strong, though? Now that's how you move up. The ink, that's only for the big kills. Which gave me an idea. Huh? What if we covered ourselves in tattoos and bluff our way into the gang? Just might last long enough to meet their leader and take them down. That's kind of rude. <laughs> Alright. Another cash. Another yep. part of the Devil Rider code. Gotta love the cash. Oh, the bounty hunter. Boing. <laughs> nice. Sato's cash has been unlocked. Question is, where is Sato's cash? Kizash money. Hi, guys. Welcome to the rodeo. What up? Yeet. Who is this and why is he still hitting me? Got him. And your turn. Yeah, fancy that. Alright, well there's the treasure. The, the, you know, the one dude's treasure. What the heck? Where am I supposed Okay. And... Bonsai! Nice. Friends! Oh, friends. y'all blow yourselves up? Thanks for doing my job for me, I guess. <laughs> and treasure. Well, hang me out and call me jerky. Okay. I found another one of my treasures. I was starting to wonder if anyone would ever spot that one. I found it. Stand up. Nice. And now we're back up here. 
Oh, I must have hit one of them thingies. That's why he was killing his friends. You do not want this. I'm gonna put you in a shit. Rude. Angela, bye. All right, now I need to find a way back up there so I can take that thing out. <coughs> there we are. Easy day. Here, have some core bombs. Have some core bombs. Bombs were set. Now for my favorite part. <laughs> this bloaty part. I like his bloaty parts. <laughs> and a boop. The explosion echoed through the forest, and those devil riders didn't even get a chance to hit the brakes. <laughs> I do love this narrator, though. Final stop. Now the vault hunter needed to find out where that train was going. Figured the conductor would know, if he was still in one piece. If not, they might have a manifest somewhere on the thing. Oh, train car. Hi. <laughs> Screw you, gunslinger. Hi, Deathless Dave. The last words out of that bastard. Luckily, that wasn't the conductor. That is pretty nice. Bye, Deathless Dave. Knock, knock. Nope, wasn't that one neither. Hmm. There he was, the conductor. Where'd that guy at? Find the real, actual conductor. <laughs> Hi. But your rose is gonna make you pay for that. Probably. <laughs> See you in ruin, bounty hunter. Okay. Uh, whistling for some pets. Making me kill the animals because y'all are dumb. Uh oh. Ooh, pretty baby. Belly Prime. Hardcore. <laughs> okay. Bellic Prime it is. Called in a friend to do her dirty work for her. Ain't that just about like her, though? Here, hold that. Thank you. Ooh. Murderize! Time to call in my pet. You all be jerks Keep about it. Counting. That is a little unfortunate that he's, uh... A toxin one, or a uh, uh, radioactive one. There we Racking go. Got it. Hi. Hi. Got it. All right. Cool. 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 All right. Uh, did you drop anything good? Eh, some money. That's about it. It's fine. Hi. I'm back. <laughs> You're too late, gunslinger. Am I? It was time to find out what that cackling bastard knew. Tell me where this train was going. <laughs> Facility doesn't matter now. <laughs> you're too, you're too late. That sucks. That's okay though. Ha, uh, bye. Juno, come in, Juno. Rose has been transporting core to some facility. Yeah, I know where it is. Been there before. I'll meet you outside. You ain't getting in without my help. I understand. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> hmm. Well, this is a bit tricky then. We done now go find ourselves to this uh, facility, huh? I gotcha. All right, but I gotta do something else first, real quick. Stay sharp, bounty hunter. Wailing herd usually lurks around there. He's the quickest digger on Gehenna and likes to spend time underground. How about you go ah. ahead and put him there for good? Got him. You never did know where that weird old bastard would pop up. He caught me making water one time, and I damn near broke his teeth in for him. <laughs> yeah, he's a bit of a creep, isn't he? And then we'll just go ahead and leave this episode here, because I feel like we are getting close to the end now. We've got just a couple more episodes left in this. I think we got to go meet Juno, and then uh, do whatever it is we got to do there. 
<laughs> but anyway, apart from all that, that's going to be it for me for today. Thank y'all so much for joining me for this episode of Borderlands 3, Bounty of Blood. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and if you did, please go and poke that like button for me. If you'd like to see more from me, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And of course, as always, you're more than welcome to leave a comment in the comment section down below. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can, when I can, if I can. You know all that jazz, and tune in next time as we go meet Juno and uh, head back to where it all started. Until then, good night.